Hello and welcome. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. This is your August 2023 general reading for the sign of Capricorn. Now remember, it's a general reading, so it might not resonate with you entirely. Take what is for you, take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else, if that makes sense. Right? This video is not timeless. This is for August 2023. Um, and what we do here, we will separate the, um, or loosely divide, <laughs> the reading in sections so it is easier to understand. What we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of August 2023 for the sign of Capricorn. Before we then look into your emotional core, emotional core is about whether or not there's um, healing that needs to happen or whether or not there's love coming in. Before we then finally look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of August 2023. Now before we do any of this, let me introduce you to this month's guest reader. This is my friend Claire. Hello. You are running the Not a Tree Holistic Therapy Center in Telford. I am. And I'm, I'm better. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm leaving the um, information for that uh, for the Facebook page in the description box. And you will notice when you click on it, um, there's all sorts of services that are being offered and workshops. And one of them is a workshop that I will be doing at the Not a Tree in November which will be a two-day shamanic workshop for 140 pounds. It is this time we're doing an Egyptian uh, themed uh, workshop. Um, you can read all about it on the page or the link in the description box. Just wanted to plug this. Plug, plug. That's how it works. In any case, um, you ready? Yeah, okay. okay. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the overall energy that's coming through for August for Capricorns is solitude. A little bit of honor, uh, solitude, honouring your inner knowing, honouring yourself. Um, and that's where our ideas and our inspiration comes through. Um, and that's where we thrive. Um, and inspiration. So the cards that come through are very much thrive, solitude, new beginnings, inspiration, honouring your inner knowing. So literally, so much, but it's very much sitting with self. Um, and... Uh, going with with your higher being, connecting um, for all those things to come through so as you can action and move forward um, and but uh, be in that creative mode and uh, bring joy, joy and creativity. There you go. Why are you in solitude? It's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when it comes to your emotional core, there's a couple of things you need to understand. We choose when we are being born and to whom, which means you choose your ancestor, you also choose the sign you are born into. Capricorn by default is a sign that has the strengths of three different beings, but also can feel totally out of sync because these three different beings are very, are very dissimilar. Right? So sometimes feeling lost is a Capricorn trait, if that makes sense, and when you're in your power, you are unstoppable. The point is which one will come to the fore. When it comes to your emotional core, for the sign of Capricorn, for the month of August 2023, all you're being asked is to step back from everything, if that makes sense. Even though, well, let me just tell you what you got and then I explain this better. You have the hair, can't pronounce it, a bigger rabbit, hair. <laughs> you have the, the, the polar bear and you have the goat. Now, the, this is all about understanding that you have gone through quite a lot of upheaval and upset and you haven't healed from it fully. And the healing will actually take some time. So what is not asked of you is to make a lot of changes and uh, discuss a lot of things. This is more like I need, I need my time here, I need some me time, right? So how you work this into a relationship, the guides can't show me, that makes sense. But... This is not the months where, where endless conversations will yield a lot of change because you have the hair. Now, when it comes to animals, which obviously this is, we always look at what they do and how this communicates. The communication with the hair is quite interesting and maybe a touch of a warning. If we cannot hold or hold climate change, the hair is the first to go. What that means in translation, once you're emotionally compromised, 
Your only job is to make sure that this can be corrected. So should you be a person that is super patient with someone? It's not bloody working, right? Because the one in the middle, which is always the most important, is the polar bear. The polar bear is about you as a person healing, right? The bear is about femininity, which means stay in your softer side. But of all the bears, the polar bear is the most vulnerable. And therefore you are in a quite vulnerable space and you need some time to let this run through your system. Now, there's always light at the end of the tunnel, if that makes sense. Whether or not that light is permanent remains to be seen. The energy here is that you have the goat on the outside. One of the animal guides you are associated with is the mountain goat. So as long as you are you, so in other words, you're going through stuff that has probably been difficult for quite some time and you need to figure out what to do next. These are really big energy questions here. So this is not an easy month for you emotionally. Um, and therefore the guides are saying as well, you know, allow yourself to heal, step back a little, just heal, allow yourself to feel everything that needs to be felt. But because you have the mountain goat in the end, which is you, the one thing that is really, really super important, and it may sound a bit egotistical, but it's not meant that way, Capricorn. If you are that person that at this point in time is emotionally affected, my, term, my guides like the term emotionally compromised, it's a, it's a horrible term, <laughs> you know. Um, but should you be that person, remember that you are the mountain goat. And the mountain goat is saying it might take a while to get up that hill, but once I'm hanging on, on the hill, or on the, on the mountain, I can hang on the cliff on two legs and don't fall. And up there, there's no precipice and the grass is greener. You have to decide, after you get your strengths back, should you decide to stay in the relationship? If you're not in a relationship and you want to manifest someone or something, make sure you heal first. Or say to the new person, I'm damaged goods, we do everything the way I, I'm telling you or we're not doing it at all. You know what the other person will say? Like, okay, you say, well, knows what you just said. But what doesn't work is pretend that you're 100% that you're, that you're healed, because nobody is. It just shows up here that your job this month is to actually make sure you get a lot of healing before you can actually make any logical decisions. But the point is, no matter where what you're going through, no matter what you're manifesting, the, the problem is that this is a journey. And the question becomes, how long have I been on that journey? And would any mountain goat still climb that tree? That makes sense, right? So oh, that sounded very, very, very in-depth, very um, somber. But I only work here. Well, so whatever the guides give me, what the guides want from you is your happiness. And all they're saying is, remember, if you're really compromised, the question then becomes, can this be undone is the wrong word because you can't undo stuff. You can just learn to, to redirect it. And you know, if there's enough to hold on to, then you make that work. So obviously, right being the now. But the point here is that you have the animal in the middle is your polar bear. And there's two ways to, to get a polar bear. Number one, yes, he's losing strength. He's losing space. So he's vulnerable. But I guarantee you, if a polar bear would be in the room, I would leave. <laughs> you don't mess with a polar bear. What that means is while you feel a bit, or maybe more than a bit, affected, you have a lot of strengths. And that comes with a lot of people not seeing that you need me time. So what will not happen to you is that people stop pestering you. Hence, what was said earlier, solitude, choose your battles, choose how much you want to work or can work, all that kind of stuff is important. This is not the month if you are a person that deals a lot with people where you can be super nice. Everybody has an emergency. Everybody wants your help. Not this month, right? Really, really important. So look after yourself, if that makes sense. That was the emotional core for the sign of Scorpio. Um, and we're, you're watching Thomas' Tower readings. Now we're looking at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of August. Okay. Um, another mad one. We also got a polar bear in the middle. Wow, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But again, this month is all about healing, and that healing will bring freedom. So freedom for you to be your true self. Yeah. Um, and again, the, the polar bear has come in, and it's about leadership, leading you to the right path that's right for you. Um, and leading into your healing, um, you know, uh, connect with higher self in that sense. Um, and look at your intentions. What are your intentions for this month? So really keep them at the forefront of your mind. 
Firstly, would be the healing of self and lead into that of those intentions. Um, and then that power of, um, we've got power of community here, so that power will come in after when you've done your little bit of solitude, brought in that healing, brought in that freedom for you to then go boom, bring in the power and get out there again. Thank you so much. And remember, I think I just called you Scorpio, you're obviously Capricorn. What happens is, you know what happens? You're recording all these videos in a row. And some of them can just get sidetracked. Anyway, you're a Capricorn. Capricorn. <laughs> so, uh, and remember, in August we have two supermoons, which means everything to do with healing and emotions is way more, way more highlighted than it ever was. And because we have supermoons, which means they're closer to Earth, they're larger, they're more powerful. And then the one on the 31st of August, it's even more powerful than any supermoon ever was. So this is the month where your emotions will take over, if that makes sense. So learning how to shift and swift sort of through it is quite important. So it can be super empowering to have to be in, in, in a supermoon, twice supermoon month, if that makes sense, as well as draining. Um, and so it's so, so the question then also becomes, um, or, or, or the necessity is to make sure that your, your, your base energy is quite high. Right? Capricorns, no matter what I called you before, <laughs> you're Capricorns. Thank you all for watching. See you next month. Bye-bye.